My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the latest gadgets in the marine industry, which is this new Psyonix low light camera. We're going to take you in a real world example of exactly what this camera can and cannot do for you being out on the water at night. So we just finished up a dinner here on Peaks Island. We're gonna head back to the Royal River. Sun has set and we're gonna get a really great look at what this Cyanus camera can do for us while underway headed back home. So running at night is something that I find myself doing fairly often. The axle bars are great inherently uh, with a forward leading windshield. I'm used to just running at night just with using very low light and just using my best judgment on avoiding lots of pots and, and whatnot. But with this Psyonix camera, it's brought on a whole new level of security while running at night. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this thing is like and you're gonna see exactly what I see on this video. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, pull up on my starboard screen, right in front of my helm here, the Psyonix video feed. So this is the Psyonix video feed coming out right, right now. And this gives me, compared to what I can see outside, this gives me some really great visibility. Again, I'm only going 3.3 nautical miles right now. Most of the videos I've seen regarding Psyonix have been at, at still, um, but I'm not interested in doing three knots. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start throttling up here, uh, looking through the windshield right now. I really cannot see what's going on very much, but uh, with this Psyonix camera, I have great confidence in knowing that I can throttle up safely and get up to speed here. Passing by this ferry boat right now and as we're slowly accelerating um, and you can see at some points this Psyonix uh, camera connection does skip a little bit but for the most part it's quite good at night I'm finding myself cruising in you know in the sub 30 knot range you know 28 or so I've got another ferry boat ahead of me you can start to see, you can see this ferry boat light right here on the Cyanus camera, as I can also see on my GPS screen. And normally I'd just be like, you know, oh yeah, it's fine. But now I can actually have some, re I can have some reaction time. Uh, I find myself looking more at the screen than I do outside the windshield, which is a foreign feeling for me, um, spending so many hours behind the helm running home at night you know we're doing 32 knots right now uh, and it gives me quite good confidence running home at the speed given the information that I'm getting so right now in this moment in time there are no lights around the horizon so you're not getting a lot of light from Portland Harbor or anything like that and even still, I'm able to get pretty darn good information here. Looking through this windshield, I, I don't really know, you know, this being a low light camera, I'm not sure where the light is coming from that's being able to pick up this decent picture, but we're doing 30.9 knots right now. This is still giving me really excellent information here on what's ahead of me. Coming up the Royal River here is still a very technical, tricky waters to navigate uh, during the day. Uh, of course, all that is compounded at night here, but be with my dual screens here and the help of the Psyonix, I can, we'll be able to get a really good picture on exactly where I am along the Royal River. So I'm just passing by this illuminated buoy here, and now I'm gonna be looking for my red nun on the screen. My red nun's right there. 
cannot even remotely see this through the windshield, but with the help of the Psyonix camera, this is quite helpful. We're passing by right now. God forbid I'd be able to see that at night. Gonna make a right hand turn here. I'm slowing down to 25 knots right now be just because of how tricky navigating is. This is a green can right now. We're gonna keep this to port. My next thing is I'm gonna look for a red nun coming up. There it is, right on my screen right here. Very helpful to see this here. All right, I gotta look for my next one. I'm gonna do a little bit of a right hand turn here. Again, this is all without the help of a spotlight or anything. Very little margin for error right now on this, on this river. And at this stage, I'm almost fully relying on what I can see through the psionics. I'm slowing ourselves down, just giving myself a little bit more time to make good decisions here. A little too much light around the horizon, so I can't quite see my next red navigation buoy, but I feel very comfortable about where I'm at because I've got good information from my GPS screens. That red nun should be coming into view here, but there's there's a lot of bit of a distortion, but I, it just came in my red nun right there. This is the last one here. So here we're coming in very in the dead at night, coming into a very brightly lit marina and Again, it's, it's not overly helpful for me right now, uh, just because on the screen here, there's so much light distortion. And you can see just off to the port here, you can see, uh, well, you might not be able to see on the camera here, but uh, about two boat lengths off the port is, uh, is mud. So again, very narrow margin for error coming in here right now. So just got back to the dock and tied up. Um, thought I'd give you a little bit of a debrief on what my general thoughts are on the Psyonix camera. And my general thoughts after doing several nights just like the one I brought you on tonight are the Psyonix camera is very good, but it's not perfect. There are some times when the, while running, there's a half a second of uh, where the camera is still catching up and there's a little bit of a freeze on the camera. It's a, it is a little pixelated, it's not perfectly clear, but it does give you far more information on what is ahead of you than what my natural eyes can do in the darkness of the night. Um, it is incredibly impressive. There are some times when you are coming into a narrow channel and there is a lot of light pollution on land that does distort what you can see on the water. So again, not perfect, but is particularly good in my opinion when compared to some other night vision options that are available on the market. At speed, I find that the Cyanus camera is incredibly good. Uh, where some of the other manufacturers, night vision camera, more of their baseline cameras that are not gyro stabilized, um, are not, in my opinion, as good as the Psyonix camera is. Now, when those other competing cameras are gyro stabilized, um, those are particularly good underway but you're talking about a whole new stratosphere on cost for the, to, in order to get those types of cameras in uh, where a Cyanus camera is, you know, in the sub $2,000 uh, range. So given its price and what it can do for you, I think the Cyanus camera is something to seriously consider if you definitively are gonna be running at night fairly often. Um, and uh, like on an ax bar, you're interested in extending your season and boating on the shoulder seasons when it gets dark out fairly early. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video regarding the Cyanus camera. If you have any other questions for us, please do feel free to reach out using the information below this video.